start it. Anybody got a, is that okay? I'm ready to go when you are, Jesse. Kick it off. Let's get going. All right. So there's Mr. Joe Scully in the house from afar through the Hydra FPV app. I don't know how that works. In the house from afar starting this race. So, yeah, let's go and look into Intent to be Human. Jason Kasovich, he's actually – let's take a look at his shining face while we're flying there. There he is, Intent to be Human. He is out in front, traveling all the way down from Minnesota, also part of Team Hydra, taking a commanding lead right now up into the pylons upstairs, coming down the dream tree. Oh, hit the bottom. Hey, can we get a Marshall upstairs, please? Marshall upstairs. Oh, you got him perfect. Thank you. There we go. He is back up now. So we've got Intent to be Human coming around, finishing up his first lap. <laughs> so Intent to be Human taking a hard right 90 around the Infinity Cube 180, 180 around the Red Silk, heading upstairs into the cloud layer, going around the pylon on the far end of the clouds there, weaving through the dream tree, taking a really quick dip. He flies in acro, and you could see that with that little split S maneuver he just did there. Had a self-flip, crash flip. There's lap number two coming through the small wreath around the lamps, and then onto the Lady Luck bar. There is his final lap. He is on a lap three, just absolutely scooching. Taking a 360 around the Christmas tree, down the backside of Tiny Whoop headquarters through the Kaleidoscope Tunnel. Taking a hard right, weaving, rolling, missing people, having fun back there. Let's take a look as he goes upstairs into the cloud layer, coming around the Dream Tree. Let's watch this acro. There it is, that little split S acro. He has been practicing that all day since he was here yesterday. Coming down the tree. Oh, hit the little wreath, but recovered quickly. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. You got to go hit the tree. Hit the tree, hit the tree. Hit the tree! Hit the big tree! Hit the big tree! No, not that tree! The other tree! <laughs> so we, he had to go hit the Christmas tree. We changed the course on him. I don't think he was listening, but uh, we got him figured out here. Whoo, that was a fun race. Hey, can we go and take a look at Noel? Let's go watch Noel's video. There we go, there's Noel. All right, he just finished up his. So, wow, that is a crazy, crazy race. Like, what, what, where, where? We had some fun there. Yeah. Okay, so we had a little bit of an upset there because he could not, so Jason Kasovich could not find the finish gate, <laughs> but <laughs> on the picks it, does, it, it, it matters. It definitely matters. So if you bet on Jason and tend to be human to win that round, I am so, so sorry that he did not do his job. <laughs> of finding the course correctly. So Microdot taking first, Intent to be Human in second, and Null FPV in third. <laughs> gonna go ahead and get those results pushed out. We're gonna go ahead and, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and have round five put out on the app here, and we'll get this done just in a second. So, so uh, what was going on there? What was going through your mind as you're sitting there looking for the Christmas tree? Um, where's the finish? I thought I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you're not done. You were done. I was and then freestyling. <laughs> I was supposed to do clips. You were freestyling. Like, yeah. Doing flip. Yeah, I've seen you do that before. <laughs> I thought I was done. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, but was. in the overall scheme of things, I mean, well, in betting, sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But in the overall scheme of theme of, of guys moving up, it both of them they, they they were first and second. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Bracket. I would have totally forgot to hit the tree too if they weren't all yelling it. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. Otherwise, because you were like, yeah, wait, he's lost. Awesome. I would just kept going. I think he said this tree. No, not that tree. That tree. I went for. I thought we had to go through there. 
Of course, we're pointing at the tree, and he can't see crap because he's got his goggles on, and he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. I thought we had to go through that hexagon, too, but I guess not. Huh? It, that, that counts. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the corner. You hit the corner, whatever. Sweet. I was like, oh no, but, I'm getting back up now. But if you are neck and neck with a person as you're coming into the Christmas tree, you want to hit the same spot they do. So we know. Because if you go through the gate on the top, we don't know. So there we go. All right, switch my camera. It is. Thank you. Uh, working on that right now. All right, so we're looking at a little bit of brackets uh, and doing a few updates to the brackets. Once we get those in, then we will uh, run our next round. But this is the end of, yeah, this is the end of our first uh, bracket structure in uh, uh, this race. So, so we have Sweet and Bryce, Monkey and Null in. Uh, Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. That's wrong. Oh, that's my bracket. <laughs> that looks familiar now. It doesn't auto do these first ones. Because it's really hard to figure that out in Excel formula mode. So they bump, yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Nope, one down. All right, so. I'll build that just a second. Chris Fisher, Provo, Control Geek, and Blue Jay, you're in the next round. All right, you heard it from Jesse P. All right, so as you see, there's our smiling faces. 
round five. Blue Jay, Sea Fisher, Control Greek, and Provo. That round is open on the Hydra FPV app for you to bet on. Blue Jay, Sea Fisher, Control Geek, and Provo. They're ready. They're rocking and rolling. Okay, so we just had a very, very important question from Wesley Blue Jay person. Come on back. You're on camera right now. Okay, so let's go this way just a titch. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so Wesley just said, wait a second. Why can't I bet on myself while I'm racing? I'd like to announce that we call that the Vanover rule for very specific reasons. Do you remember what happened last year in round two of the finals? Yes, he sandbagged it. So what he did is he said, hey, guys, don't bet on me. I'm going to throw this race. And then he threw the race. But everybody bet on him because he was the Iron Man. He went straight through. One, 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 all the way through the bracket. And he ended up sandbagging. So everybody lost points except for the people that didn't what bet on him. Makes yeah. <laughs> Say that to him right there, as if he's right there. Let's hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Vanover makes poor decisions. <laughs> you heard it from Blue Jay himself. Vanover, you make poor decisions. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I remember Wes's, <laughs> Wes's mom actually bet on him to take second place <laughs> because she picked her own son to not win against Vanover. So he got second. That was a great year this year. So let's say hello to who all's in the chat right now. Uh, looks like Suzanne Nunez. Hey, Sunu, what's up? Alex Bryant, what's up with you, buddy? Uh, let's see, I saw Joe in there, Justin Sanders. Uh, hang on, Justin Sanders would like to know, who was the crazy tree lady? I think that was your wife, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he would like to know how many cups of eggnog has crazy tree hat lady chugged already? <laughs> That's a good question. We might have to get her on the stream and ask her. But uh, who else is out there in the chat watching live? We're coming to you. Oh, hey, now I get the crazy tree lady hat. I don't know. Does this mean I have to drink eggnog now? Because I'm not okay with that. <laughs> but guess what? We're here. We're having fun. We're coming to you live from Loveland, Colorado at Tiny Whip headquarters. Having some fun. Doing some races. Round number five in our double elimination bracket here is coming up. Justin, that is not okay. I am not chugging eggnog, unless it's non-alcoholic. Whomever. Sorry, yes, you're right. That is whomever, Justin. So we got eight people watching on the live stream. What's up, live stream? You ready to go? Should we bring in Joe? Blue Jay, what channel?
So we're just waiting real quick. Blue Jay, Wes Burson, second place from last year. Unfortunately, has no video. So we got to wait just a second. He's got to do a little bit of uh, hanging out there, trying to figure out his quad. Let's go ahead and get everybody else unplugged. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Nope. That's a good point. So, we're I'm sorry, we're going to officially call you Crazy Hat Tree Lady. That's what you've been named on the stream. So, <laughs> yeah, you got to put the hat on. Where's the hat? So, this is Ashley, right? Yes. Ashley Sagano. So, this is Daniel Sagano's wife. Come on over. You're not quite in the in the camera. There she is. Hello. Say hello to your fans. Yeah, let's say let's see Dan. Dan, come on in here, too. So for those of you that don't know Daniel Sagano, this is the creator of iGow and his wonderful wife coming down here from Seattle, Washington, flying in for the day. Hey. Hey. Hi, everyone. So I think it's uh, Seattle and New York. We've got people from both sides of the country here. There's Say Andrea in here from New York, and then these two in here from Seattle. So we're having a good night. But the stream has been affectionately calling you crazy hat tree lady and asking how many uh, cups of eggnog have you chugged today? <laughs> So <laughs> we definitely just wanted to say hello to everybody. Do you have anything you guys want to say, or do you want to talk a little bit about iGal while we're getting some uh, video issues figured out? Sure. All right. So if you guys don't know what iGal is, <laughs> we've been running this competition for 20 weeks now. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, um, and anyone can participate in iGal for the weekly prizes. So if it looks like fun to you uh, and you didn't get to join at the beginning, you can always... Uh, just send in a video and try to uh, go for. We have random prize giveaways on certain weeks, Ten, and we have prize giveaways every from just week. the yep the top video for every week. Yes. I got oh I got stands for <laughs> International Game of Whoop. Yes. And every single week, you can put in a video. We have Tiny Whoop prizes. We have prizes from Happy Model. We have prizes from Ostrich Air, from pretty much all of the tiny drone-type sponsors. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you're interested in submitting any type of video to iGao, you can hit us up on the Facebook page through the Tiny Whoop Facebook page or through the iGao Facebook page and submit a weekly video anytime you're interested. Yep, and we watch all the videos live every week. Perfect. How's everybody looking? Well, thank you, Daniel. We yep. So we're getting our pilots plugged in here. I got two pilots plugged in. I've got Provo and Blue Jay. Now I'm waiting on Sea Fisher and Control Geek. There is Sea Fisher. And hey, uh, Ethan, do you got good video on yours? So let's take a look at our pilots here, and then we'll go to our pilots' videos. There they are. There's their. And here we go, we're gonna start the race. So as you can see, we've got Blue Jay in the top left, C. Fisher top right, Control Geek bottom left, and FPV Provo bottom right. This is a very, very fast heat. So we're gonna keep it up on the four view for the entire race, unless somebody crashes out and doesn't have fun, but it's gonna be a very, very tight. It looks like I'm looking at Provo in first, Blue Jay in second, C. Fisher in third, and Control Geek in fourth. This is a very tight field right now, but it looks like Provo is gonna be second now. He had a little bit of problems with the con with the cloud. Blue Jay's coming down the slide, putting uh, doing a 360. There's Blue Jay coming around, finishing up his first lap. Hot on his tail is uh, Control Geek. So it looks like Blue Jay right now 
is our uh, leader. We've got followed by Control Geek in second, Sea Fisher in third, and Provo in fourth is our running order. Uh, Blue Jay, as he gets up into the cloud layer, we're going to go ahead and highlight his video so we can watch him on a little bit bigger screen there as he comes down the slide. Oh no, we got a Marshall at the bottom of the slide. Perfect. Really fast hands there by Mr. Mike Stafford. Coming around, pulling a 180, now going down the Lady Luck through the bar. That's going to be his second lap. Coming around on his final lap now, going around the 360 Christmas tree after the Christmas tree, going down the Kaleidoscope Tunnel on the backside of the HQ, coming to the Infinity Cube provided by Dean Nicholson Technoid. Programmed that, built that in his garage, and it was a wonderful feature at Tiny Whoop Invitational last year in January. Well, this year, I guess, still in January. as a wonderful addition to this course here. There we go. Blue Jay finishing up first. So Blue Jay coming in first. Let's watch Chris Fisher as he finishes up his second lap here. And let's see here. There is Chris Fisher in second. Now we're looking at Control Geek as he's navigating the cloud layer on his third lap. Provo had a little bit of problems in that kaleidoscope tunnel, unfortunately had to get marshaled. The kaleidoscope tunnel is one of the hardest places to get marshals out of, so there we go. Control Geek finishing up. Let's watch Provo as he finishes up his laps here. So we've got Provo coming around. Oh, having a little bit of swing and wide into the door there. Having a little problem. His gyro is not happy. There it goes. Coming down the slide after the slide. Taking a really quick right 90 degree around the lamp. Almost hitting me. There I am. And Provo finishing up. So there is our running order for that race. Two minutes and 20 seconds total. And that was a great race. We're going to get those results. We'll be right back for you. All right, so the votes have been counted. Uh, this isn't American Idol. What am I saying? The DVR has been reviewed, and uh, our running order, <laughs> our running order there was Blue Jay, Sea Fisher, Control Geek, and Provo in that order. So that means that Blue Jay and Sea Fisher are safe in the winners bracket. Control. Control Geek and Provo do drop down to our Constellation bracket, but they only have one strike against them, so they're not done for the day, just done in this race for right now. So let's go ahead and get round six generated here. Round six is going to be some fun, fun racing as well. We'll be right back, get that built, get it open for racing, and we'll be right back.
So here is our next heat of racing. Let's take a look at their beautiful faces. Microdot, Jesse P, Intent to be Human, and FPV Skittles. Those are our four racers in round number six. Bets are open. If you haven't grabbed the Hydra FPV app, place your bets. Go to our website, www.hydrafpv.com. There is a link to the app store of your choosing on that page. Download the app, play along, win some points. We're going to be giving away a couple things at the end of the race to the point winner. And we're going to have, we've got some, maybe some signed swag, some signed swag, some have some fun here. So, ooh, okay, all right. Within reason, we'll, we'll make up a limit here, but we'll give away some stuff, so. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take some comments if you guys are watching. I just wanted to say thanks in advance to everybody. Oh, what's up? I'm coming over here. Backing it up. Backing it up. Oh, oh, what's up? Hey guys. Oh, let's let's keep talking. No wait, we're we're gonna talk. I want to talk about. I could talk Igao all day. I really could. I want to. And I'm gonna, but I gotta get in this race. So let's, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the goggles down. <laughs> All right, he's going to go back into the goggles. Sorry, I just needed to get a little bit of water. <laughs> he doesn't want that seat. Okay. Ashley, do you want to come talk about iGal some more? Sure, we can talk about iGal some more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you need your hat. Sorry, okay, I need the hat. If you're going to be on stream, you got to have to have the hat. All right, All right. So... This week, we are currently doing a, what is the trick for this week? We have a trick, which we're calling the triple stack gate. So, you have to fly forward through the top gate, backwards through the ba middle gate, forward through the bottom gate, power loop back up through the top gate and come back and finish your power loop into the bottom third gate. That video is due tomorrow by midnight. If you're capable of completing that trick, you are more than welcome to submit a video and try out for the Tiny Whoop prize. <laughs> awesome, thank you Ashley. Let's go ahead and take a look at our videos here. There are four videos of this round, Microdot, Jesse, Intent to be Human, and Skittles. We're going to get some goggles down and get this race started. Gentlemen, how are we feeling? Got to get thumbs from all of you, please. One, two. I'm going to assume the other two are good because they're not sitting by me, but here we go. Hey, Marty, would you mind marshalling up by the stairs? Just wait until they cross, but then, yeah. All right, and our pilots are off as they get way. Yeah, Jesse, I don't know where you went. Yeah, you completely went out over here. Oh, it looks like you unplugged. Oh, no, Jesse P. unfortunately broke a pigtail. So he is going to unfortunately lose this race. And anybody that did bet on him to win this race unfortunately is going to lose their points because jesse is not competing but here is our first competitor that comes through and finishes their first lap that's intent to be human let's take a look at his fpv here that's jason as he finishes up his first lap hot on his tails however is fpv skittles uh skittles unfortunately had a little bit of a problem there but he is back up being marshaled intent to be human going down the kaleidoscope tunnel taking a hard right 90 going around the infinity cube now going upstairs into the cloud layer around the cloud pylon down through the dream tree after the dream tree doing that acrobatic split s coming down the slide very very quick down the slide small wreath taking a chicanes going through the big wreath down the lady luck to finish lap number two going oh getting a little bit crazy wonky there but he's back on track now he is uh, doing a little bit in the kaleidoscope tunnel taking a hard right 90 oh no oh no oh no somebody was in the course sweet fpv name getting in the way but he's back up quickly. Now we get him upstairs, going through the pylon. 
Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, a little bit of bad video up there sometimes, but we got it back. Now he's split essing down the slide. This is going to be his last pass through the slide, expertly maneuvering it, taking the wreath, 180, crashing into the Christmas tree, actually doing it right this time. There is intent to be human in first place. Let's watch Skittles as he finishes up here as well. His second lap onto his third lap now. His third lap going around the Christmas tree. 360, now doing a quick hard ride into the Kaleidoscope Tunnel after the Kaleidoscope Tunnel. Oh no, having a little bit of problem back there, but uh, somebody can get him or he might do turtle mode. Yeah, there we go, now we got a marshal. He's gonna pop back up. Nope, there we go, arming now. Popping back up, going around the Infinity Cube and uh, now around the Silk Sock. Upstairs to the uh, Cloud Pylon around the corner there. Coming through the Dream Tree over the slide, down to the new slide. There's the last attempt on the slide for him of this race. Now he's gonna come around to the small wreath, take a 180 around the lamps, and finish into the Christmas tree. There we go. Oh, with a little flippy floppy at the end. That is Dan Sagano. So there we go, we've got our running order. We'll go ahead and get those results pushed out to you soon. All right, so there's our order. Intent to be human, Micro Dot, Skittles in third, and unfortunately, Jesse with a do not finish. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Jesse, you want to tell the uh, live stream what happened to your quad there? Let's go around on camera and get that. Oh, yeah, what's up? I'm going to sneak around. Sneak into the. Oh, what's up? Let's bring Micro Dot in. Yeah. Hey, I don't you're, know if he I was trying won to. That one he you didn't. No, you got second place. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's right, Dad. I hope that's cool. I should have gotten first, but I wasn't sure. I was sitting there hovering because I wasn't sure if oh, I was really? done yet so or not. Oh, really? So you passed him. I, I was sitting there, and he flew by and I, finished right before me. I heard right you yelling me. over there. Yeah. Is it two or three laps? Yeah. But I know you did three, I, right? I'm pretty sure I, I did. did I was just I was just double-checking. I didn't know I was like well, that For the record, he did three, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay because he should have beat me the, the first race, you know. So it's all good. And I was really amped to fly in that race, but my I quad know. powered down during the first lap. Like that, right? And uh, thanks, bro. But I disappointed, you know, tons of fans. Yeah. And uh, you know. and you probably gained tons of fans. Yeah. Rolling up into Heck second yeah, and FPV. kicking my ass. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Woo. Foco FPV is the shit. Look at this. Yeah. Hold on, you gotta let him see it. Represent. These guys probably already have the shirts at home. Yeah. It's like the nation's best-selling shirt. We're gonna be picking it up on tinyweb.com just because it takes, you know. We want to do that many orders, too. We're hoping to grow our store to be as big as Foco FPV's T-shirt gig. They got the most popular brand, and everybody yeah. knows them now, so don't ever forget Thanks, it. Silver. You know, Where can they find more information on Foco FPV? Uh, Fort Collins Drone Enthusiasts on Facebook. Oh, join the group. Join the group. If you're in Colorado, I'm actually one of the founders of that group. Not many people around here know it, Yeah. but I founded we, we the meetup. Over. We're keeping it running. You know, yeah, yeah. Jesse's a little busy. You know, yeah, I, he's got I, this thing going on, you know. We got uh, our thing going on, but uh, yeah, and also on Multi GP, of course, Bryce, Foco sweet, FPV. Bryce, Shout out to Multi GP. Yeah. Uh oh. Sweet Bryce, monkey and sweet, Noel. Bryce, monkey and Noel. Why do you got your coat on, Bryce? Where are you going, eh? I'm going to bed. Going to bed. Bryce was thinking about going to bed, but now he's in this race. Well, I mean, I think I'm still on the camera and the live stream, and what's up? Oh, what's up? Yeah, I am still here. Maybe we should find someone to interview. No, let's just go ahead and kick this race off. Jason, you want to talk to the people about how it feels to, to beat, to kick my ass? How's, <laughs> but you kicked everyone's ass, too. You were flying like a rocket. And when I went down, I was chasing pink lights. You yeah. definitely got off the line ahead of me, yeah. and I was chasing Bryce, you right here when you went Bryce down. Is Sweet, Bryce, no. F2. That works. Are you still in it? About to bail, man? Yeah. Gonna go? 
Are you still in it? I'm in the loser's bracket. Are you still in it? Yeah, I'm still in it, yeah. Well, forget, we're still talking to peeps. I'm still in this race, people. And, you know, in 2017, when we had our first big invitational, I lost my first race. Chilled out in the loser's bracket the entire rest of the race, but got all the way up to the final race and took fourth place in the event. So I got, you know, tons of confidence going into this loser's bracket. Even though most of the people here are faster than me, I had a flawless run my first race in the main event. I had a flawless, like, it wasn't fast, but I had zero errors, you know, it was just a smooth one. But what was your last run like? Did you did you have any errors? <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember exactly where I went down, but uh, you went down. Yeah, <clears throat> I went up at the top of the top of the stairs there, and on the slide once. Different spots every time, though, all the way one through. Of the, one of the hardest spots for me that I still can't find. I still get to this spot, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. It's after I hit the hairpin up in the cloud layer, and I'm coming down to go around the tree. And I, nine times out of ten, I hit that. Uh, I keep forgetting we're talking to them. We're, we're just hanging out. I know. I just have Welcome a mic in my hand. Hey, I want to tell them though. Oh yeah. Can they? Can you guys see the trophy? Yeah. There it is. It's a giant pink number one. Doesn't it look nice? That tiny headquarters. Yeah. So I got to win that to keep it around here. Otherwise but come to my house. it's going home with the winner. We got a couple other trophies. We got some prizes. We don't know what comments you're saying. Okay, thanks so much. Uh oh, here's some comments. Oh yeah, we got I'm gonna fix that wreath in just a sec. Okay, we got people ready to race, so I gotta fix the wreath right now. I'm still holding my quad. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so there's round seven. It is open in the Hydra FPV app. You know, one of the things I didn't do today was I didn't tell you guys how you're going to be winning points. So let's take a look at that here real quick. So how to play. Using the Hydra app, you're going to pick the finish order of the pilots. First place, you get double your points that you bet. If you get first and second, you get three times multiplier on your points. And if you get the Superfecta, if you pick all four pilots correct in that heat, you get a five times multiplier on the points that you put down. Using that, you're going to climb the FPV ladder, uh, leaderboard of the fan leaderboard. So let's take a look at that right now at the fan leaderboard. There is our number one, actually, sorry, I need to go up and take a look at the top here, Flex PV in first, 7,000 points, followed by Ribbit FPV and Rab FPV. Sir Kitty McMittens, Skittle, Say What, Netizen, and Carpenter are rounding out our top eight there. We are, right now we've got pilot leaders of Blue Jay, Microdot, Bryce, and Intent to be Human. As of course, all of these points are just based on their own individual heats. We are doing a double elimination bracket, so it doesn't go off points. It is going off the bracket. So let's go ahead and take a look at our four pilots. It looks like all of them have, we have video at least. Where do you want to sit, bud? <laughs> so let's take a look at our... FPV feeds, there they are as well. Their sweet FPV name in the top left, Bryce in the top right, Monkey in the bottom left, and Noel in the bottom right there. All right, so all four pilots are on the board. Goggles down. Yes, thumbs up from all of you, please. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Gentlemen, let's get this race started. All right, and there's Joe Scully kicking off our race, and they're off. So this is going to be a very – uh-oh, somebody caught right here. Here we go. Got them right at the beginning caught, but they are fixed now. It looks like that was Bryce J. So our leader right now going up into the top cloud layer is going to be Sweet FPV name there. Let's take a look at him. So there's Sweet coming down the slide. There we go. The late, the excuse me, the light coming around the Lady Luck. Hitting the Christmas tree, 360 around the Christmas tree, going around the Kaleidoscope Tunnel. After the Kaleidoscope Tunnel, taking a hard right, going around the Infinity Cube. Now going around the Silk Sock, heading upstairs again into the Cloud Layer. After the Cloud Layer, going down to the Dream Tree. After the Dream Tree, coming over the slide, taking a nice little 180 down the slide here. After that, going through the Small Wreath, going around the Lamps, and now hitting lap number two. Fast, fast laps there for Ben. That is sweet FPV name. Going around the 360 Christmas tree kaleidoscope tunnel. After the kaleidoscope tunnel, taking a hard right. Oh, no, hitting the packaging, but getting really, really fast back on his line there. 
Sweet FPV, as you know, does have a home field advantage. He works here every day, packs all of your orders for anybody who orders from tinywoof.com. So if you're getting extra candy, if you're missing candy, if you're missing anything, or you got something extra, you can thank Sweet for that. He is doing his work. So there is three laps for Sweet FPV name finishing up in first. Let's take a look at Bryce. There's Bryce J finishing up his second lap, now into number three, going 360 around the Christmas tree. After the Christmas tree, taking a hard 180 down the Kaleidoscope Tunnel. Hard right 90, past all the merchandising shelves around the Infinity Cube, upstairs into the cloud layer, going around the pylon at the end of the clouds, now coming through the Dream Tree, having a little bit of a misstep there, but re-getting back on his line, avoiding Jesse, coming down the slide, hitting himself in the shoulder, now going through the small wreath, hitting the Christmas tree. There's Bryce finishing up in second. Here's FPV Evil Monkey, slow and steady turtle as I call him. His camera's a little bit uh, fuzzy, but we'll take a watch as he finishes up his lap in here. It looks like as well, Noel is stuck somewhere. I see uh, Jesse and others, there they are, they're using that. And it looks like uh, we need to clarify the course a little bit for Mike, but he's coming down there. So coming up, back up the stairs, going onto the slide now. There we go. Hitting the slide, coming down, taking a right into the wreath. After the wreath, going around the lamps, taking a 180 and finishing into the Christmas tree after hitting Bryce J in the head. So he is good. <laughs> All right, so there is our running order, folks. We will get those bets back to you, and we'll be right back with our next round. All right, we're also going to just have a little course tour done here. Party tour course tour done by Jason Kasovich. He's going to give us a little bit of a preview of everything that is going on here at Tiny Whoop headquarters. All right, so we have our next round built. Channels assigned. It is opened in the FPV, excuse me, Hydra FPV app for betting. Let's take a look at who our pilots are going to be in round eight. That's going to be FPV Provo, Jesse P, Ethan Control Geek, and Daniel FPV Skittles. So that's going to be a great race here. Very, very fast racers. 
all four of them actually very fast. So it's going to be a uh, Constellation Bracket. So two of these people will be done for the night. The two that win will be moving on into the bracket. So, Jesse, this is the Constellation Bracket. Let's tell the fans, how are you feeling knowing that you're going into a Constellation Bracket here? I feel terrific. I was just noticing I'm up against Provo and Ethan and Dan, and uh, I feel a little less good after seeing that. But last time, last time I was at an, in the Constellation Bracket at an Invitational event, I went all the way to the finals. I'm, gonna, I'm doing that this time, guys. Put your bets on me. So you heard it from I Jesse. fixed my pigtail. No more of that lose video and fall out of the sky BS that was happening earlier. So you heard it from Jesse. He's going to take first. He's going to keep the prize, the number one back here, right here in the cabinet, the number one LED sign. That's going to stay here at Tiny Whoop headquarters because Jesse is going to win here. So there is round number eight again. FEV Provo, Jesse, Control Greek, and Skittles. Let's say hello to anybody who's watching in the chat right now. Do we have any... Let's see. Uh, Josh Elder says, nice glasses, Jesse. Hey, thank you. He says, thank you. Alex Bryant says, we'll see what happens with the primary invitational. Fingers crossed. Hopefully he gets to be here. Is that Rab? Uh, Rab is, was on here a little bit ago. I don't see him right now. Oh, yeah, Rab. There he is. Sorry, Alex Bryant. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Carpenter, hey, FPV. Hey, what's Gotta up? show up, contender. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Carpenter says, good flying, Jason. Huh? <laughs> Carpenter says, uh, good flying. Hey, there's that guy. Hey. <laughs> Just so you know, Carpenter Brothers own in the Twin Cities. I know. I watch you guys' streams all the time up there. All righty, so we're getting our videos all situated, getting channels changed as needed. Let's take a look. Uh, Provo. What's that? Oh. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm not seeing Provo's video on here, unfortunately. All right, we're going to call it good. So there's our four racers. Unfortunately, Provo's not coming through on the clear views, but there's Jesse, Ethan, and Skittles, three of our four racers. Let's go ahead and get this race started. Gentlemen, can I get some thumbs from you, please? Good to go. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Let's get this race going. So here is the consolation bracket, Jesse, Provo, Control Geek, and Skittles. Who is going to take the top two positions? Who's going to be in the bottom two positions and unfortunately leave us for the night? All of that should be answered in the next two minutes of racing. Let's take a look at Jesse P., one of our fan favorites as he navigates this course here. There's Jesse P going up into the cloud layer, some chase footage. He and Control Geek are neck and neck, but crashing out a little bit there. Now he's coming down. Oh no, getting a quick marshal at the end of the slide. Our first pilot to come through, Control Geek in first right now, taking a 360 around the tree. There's Jesse, hot on his tails, as you guys can see, coming around the Lady Luck bar, now going to 360 around the Christmas tree. Control Geek, however, with a commanding lead around the Infinity Cube, now going upstairs into the pi into the cloud pylons. Jesse, however, gaining some ground. He's already back up in the cloud pylons as well, coming around the Dream Tree, now taking a really quick 180 down the slide. 
and he is neck and neck very, very quick right here. You're going to see some chase footage. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a pass, Jesse with a pass. Yep, so Jesse there just passing out Control Geek. Now he's first into the Kaleidoscope Tunnel, taking a quick 180. Oh no, little misstep for Jesse there, but keeping right back on track. He's up into the cloud layer first. So Jesse is in first currently, followed very, very closely by Control Geek. This is going to be it. If they can navigate the slides, which he does expertly, racing for his life, Jesse Perkins taking first. Control Geek had a little bit of a misstep there, but he's back up. Let's take a look at, Scan at Skittles as he's flying up, racing now for second. I'm not sure, quite sure what's happening with Control Geek. He actually has his quad in his hand, throwing it into the tree, but Skittles is on. There we go. We're getting Skittles back up. There we go. There is Skittles. Wait, is that just lap two, Dan? Oh, he's got one more lap. I'm sorry. So Provo, there's Provo. Provo taking second. Provo took second because he didn't finish. So, <laughs> so I'll I'll get a review here on the DVR just to make sure, but. What I saw is Ethan went down and then picked up his quad in his hand and walked it to the finish line. So I'm going to get some ruling from some of the, uh, some of the uh, officials here, and then we're also going to get some of your opinions in the chat. Here's Skittles finishing up into the trees. So there is our race. Let's get you guys to comment in the chat right now. What do you think? Do you think Ethan should get second for picking up his quad and throwing it into the tree, or should he get second for Provo finishing and flying into the tree? So we will find that out, and we'll be right back for you with those results. All right, so let's get some of the people in the chat. Let's see. Provo gets set. Oh, hey. all right, hey. So uh, Justin Sanders says, make them arm wrestle to decide who wins. So Provo versus Ethan arm wrestle. Now, Ethan actually conceded and said that he didn't finish the race. So the running order that we're going to finish the, uh, the race here is Jesse in first, Provo in second, number three is going to Mr. Skittles, and four is going to go to Ethan. So that means, unfortunately, that means that Skittles and Control Geek are leaving our race tonight. But Jesse is in, still in the running for his one, keeping it here at Tiny Whoop headquarters. So let's go ahead and get these points pushed out, results verified. There they are. Let's see if, how much movement there was on the FPV leaderboard after that. Oh my goodness, some movement. There they are, Dio GTS from Team Deadlock moving up into first. Flex PV going up into second and Rab dropping down to third. Netizen, DZ, Dubzy Squared, Ribbit, FPV Skittles, and Carpenter rounding out our top eight. 
So let's go ahead and get into our next round of racing here. We will, in the meantime, let's get a pilot interview with Ethan about how he finished that race. Hey, Marty, would you mind coming doing a, a, an interview for me while I'm getting some stuff built? <laughs> so again, co-founder of Hydra, Marty Weatherall. All right, everybody, we're going to talk to a pilot. Let me see if I can get... Um, Ethan, where are you? Okay. All right, we got Jesse coming over here. The mini Envy is in full effect. We got uh, Jason Kasevich showing what we do in Minnesota. Right here. All right, Jesse. It looks like you're racing in this next one. I am. They're coming hot and heavy. Oh, yeah. Um, super hot, super heavy. Good heat on the last one. What were you thinking on that? Um, I had an awful start. I was in fourth place, and then I just did smooth laps, and everybody else made errors under the pressure, and I somehow wound up in first place. Keeping it cool. Yeah, I don't know. The course is flying really well. Um, what are your favorite parts of the newly redesigned holiday version of TWHQ? Uh, definitely the slide. You guys see the slide. You know, um, I had some awful... I'm going to scoot you over a little bit. I had some awful slide runs in my last round but usually after one battery any pilot can hit the slide over and over uh, without fail there's a pretty big window that you can be in when you cut throttle and uh, start glancing under those two low bars that are the only real gate so it's pretty much just a narrow gate with a slide around it the bars are actually there's no candy canes, they're right? candy canes yeah and you don't actually have to slide at all. And um, Ethan Bayer, who just went out on a technical difficulty, he had a little crash tap, and um, it messed up a motor. Uh-oh. I'm not up. Okay. That's good. That's good. We tried a, a slide at the Invitational back in January, right? But it was a... Yeah. It's the, still the up. You can see it in the background, those purple... I can't tell what you guys can see, but those little purple lights over there... Uh, and a gold slide, that comes down, that's a, a huge drop, a really fast slide, not like a, a pretty much sl downward sloping ground effect as this slide is. Okay. This, they're both kids slides, they both cost anything. That one was 25 bucks, this one's 40 bucks, you know, <laughs> Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, you just find slides and I'm, I'm, I've got a little refresh button on my browser that always shows me any slides that pop up anywhere because I got this dream of doing a giant race that's like all shoots and ladders, just tons of slides. I want to get tons of flight test foam, design some crazy slides. Ladies and gentlemen, Wes Burson. What? There he is. I'll see you in the finals. I won't see you, though. I'll be in the front. Blue Jay, what channel are you on? You too. All right, Jesse. Thank you. Yeah, I was, I was uh, really excited about the slide making its way into this course. It didn't make its way into the Invitational course, but in the Mini Envy holiday, Tiny Whoop Christmas, the slide is happening. And how you emerge from the slide, how you recover as you fly off of it, collect yourself, and get around into this wreath behind me. Could there be any more natural race gate than a wreath, than a holiday wreath? Well, we've got them all over the place. And the Finnish crash pad is a Christmas tree. We almost didn't figure that out, but we figured it out last minute. You just fly into the Christmas tree. Remember that, Wes. You finish in the Christmas tree. Some pilots are forgetting that. But, Wes, you got it down. All right. So I believe uh, picks are open. Dio GTS, Dio GTS all the way in Omaha, Nebraska. Leading the leaderboard, moving ahead of Flex PV. Rab had a moment uh, atop the board. A moment in the sun, but now it's Dio GTS. The pilot board is uh, just, you know, arbitrary at this point. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You are second. You are second. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's why we don't see you on the board right now. All right. Netizen, uh, I believe, 
I got a text. Netizen01 has gone to bed. So he's he's hanging tight there at 8129, 8,129 points. But Ribbit, you can you can move past Netizen. I believe he went to sleep. And the the betting limit is upped. Taylor has raised the betting limit. Okay. Bets are open. What heat is this? Round number nine. Betting is open. There we are. We've got Blue Jay. We've got C. Fisher. Intent to be human with a hard hat on. And Micro Dot. Watch out for this group. Top two advance. Bottom two are on the loser's side. Is this all winners? This is all winners? Okay. So bottom two will notch a loss, and they'll have to play it safe. Top two, just keep on moving. No Iron Man? Okay. We need some, we need a wireless mic. All right. I got to get my picks. Daniel, can you hand me that phone that's behind you right there? Oh my God, they can probably see me. Yeah. You and everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right, Taylor. All right, Marty, I got. I'm this? gonna make my picks. Let me see. I'm not gonna tell everybody. I can. I can Wait, keep these private. These are. This is not the right one. This is still eight. He's yeah. picking Provo to win round nine, but Provo's not in this round, so no. no. Need to pick I gotta. So again, here are there are our pilots that you're betting on. Blue Jay, Sea Fisher, Intent to Be Human, and Microdot. Our bet limits have been raised now to ten thousand, so we've got a ten thousand bet limit. So basically, at this point, I don't think anybody is over ten thousand points. So this is all or nothing for some people. And so Ashley, who's betting here in person, was just like, you just put me all in. I'm, that's what I do. I'm like a poker master over here. I'm pushing everybody's chips all in. I don't even know what I just did. I slid that bar all the way up, and now I'm, I better get the win on this. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking for some charity. All right. C. Fisher is behind me. You see him right there on your camera. He's back there sitting in the easy chair. All right. Where is uh, Intent to be Human? It's over there. We are, at, we are in Loveland, Colorado at Tiny Whoop headquarters. I made the trip all the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota. More than worth it. You're looking at your round nine pilots. We're going to let you take that in. All right, are we on? Can you hear me? This screen's live. I was informed of that earlier. Okay. 
Are you are you making the switches? Four pilots in position. All right, I got an eye on all four of them. All right, goggles down, thumbs up, pilots. Where's the fourth? Okay. I believe we're good. Let's start them. All right, a little nudge on the start. They are through the wreath, and they are around the tree, very close so far, into the tunnel. Let's see who we got emerging first. It looks like Blue Jay. Somebody just went down. Blue Jay went down in the easy chair. Microdot is up amongst the clouds with intent to be human. Who's coming down the slide first? That is intent to be human. Intent to be human, a freestyler flying in acro mode, is your leader. <laughs> we got trash talking in real time. All right, let's see if he maintains the lead. Is the intent still in the lead? Let's see. No, he's Woo. down on the side. So I think Blue Jay took the lead, it looks like. Blue Jay got back in. He's up in the clouds. Yep. So maybe intent. Well, man, I don't know. I missed most of this race. Here comes Blue Jay down the slide. We'll see if he finishes up a lap here. Blue, Blue Jay into the tree. Blue Jay takes it. Blue Jay taken first. We've got, a, we've got C. Fisher ricocheting off the wreath. Fisher takes second. Here comes Intent to be Human. He missed the lamps. Some people are missing the lamps. But he had it by plenty. All right, we're verifying results. We're making sure everybody knows the finished protocol. We got to go through the small wreath and then around the double lamps. All right, DVR instant replay. Here comes. All right, he hits the wreath. This is the small wreath. Frame by frame, and he cuts it tight. He cuts it tight, he does not go around the lamps and then a, then a crash into the tree that was intent to be human but we've we've made a course determination we're just reminding everybody you got to go around the lamps when you're coming around before you hit the tree through the wreath just like just like you do you got to do it but you got to do it every time whether you're going through the wreath Blue Jay, intent to be human. No, sorry. 
Blue Jay C. Fisher, intent to be human. Yeah, Fisher was second. Intent to be human was third. I believe so. No, that was correct. That's correct. All right, we're running the results. Let's see the leaderboard. You can check the app. We're going to put it up on the screen. Dio GTS remains in first. He gained on that one. Flex is chasing. It is a mere 12-point lead for Dio GTS. Rab hanging tight in third. Carpenter FPV climbing all the way from Minnesota. And look at that. Myself in fifth place. How did I, What did I do on that one? I can't remember who I picked. I've climbed ahead of Ribbit. Look at that. Marty in fifth, Ribbit in sixth. I'm very happy about that. And Skittles right there in seventh. Seattle representing the sixth and seventh position. Shout out to Dio GTS. What's up, man? Hope you're good. Omaha in the house. Dub squared. Where's Who's Dub squared? Where are you, Dub squared? You're on the board. Jesse, anything to say about the leaderboard as it's shaping up? I'm fourth place in the pilot leaders. I'm in the consolation bracket, aren't I? I mean, I've won a bunch of races. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can kind of disregard the pilot leaders. We'll, we'll we switch to the bracket. We'll switch. Oh, the bracket isn't built. Okay. Well, just. We lost Bryce Johnson. Right. He was on the. He won and then he left. Yep. Yeah. Incredible pilot. I wish we could have seen him running out, but it is late. I mean, what is it? He's got things to do. It's only one. It's only one. It's not that late. No, it's the night is young. I'm from Seattle. It's midnight. F2, please. <laughs> Am I up right now? My brain, my body, my everything says midnight. <laughs> All right, Jesse left. We're going to see who's in this next race. I'm, I'm just going to enjoy my fifth position here. I don't think it's going to last. I don't normally. Oh, look at this. Round 10. Woo. Okay. Bryce would have been in this one, but he's gone. So we got three pilots. Jesse P. And the man he works with day in, day out. Sweet FPV name, Ben. And then FPV Provo. This is a tricky one. I'm... Mm. I'm watching people make their picks. I'm contemplating what I'm going to do. All right, picks are now open. I'm going to pull out my phone. I'm going to do it in real time. All right. Ribbit is making, Ribbit is challenging the pilots. <laughs> Before she makes her pick, she wants to know. She's not wearing the hat anymore. All right, you know what? We are. We're going all in on Jesse. Yeah. For the first time, I don't think you have never met on me. I haven't. Yo. Let's go, Jesse. I'm not in the camera here. Here, can I sit here? So, quick story before this race starts. I just want to share that when I got into FPV, the one thing that I really wanted was to to be on the Tiny Whoop team and to come out to an invitational. So being here is seriously like so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. Thanks, Jesse, and glad for the community to be here. I want to go home with. <laughs> excuse me. I want to go home with that. <laughs> That's my goal. I just wanted to share that story because it makes me really happy. What? It's kind of it's kind of blown out on the screen, but it's a number one. It's a giant pink number one, and Jesse has named that as the trophy for the winning pilot. Ever since Jason heard that, it's all he's been talking about. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't know how we're gonna get it back. I guess Southwest Airlines is pretty uh, accommodating for carry-on luggage. 
Hey, Jesse, might have to come get it. Jesse, if I win at one, maybe the next Invitational is in Minneapolis defending it. Jason's got his eyes on number one. <laughs> he's, he's got his eyes on number one. We did a race. Joe Nunes was there when Jason became a racer. We were at, oh, the hat is in the way. The hat is right in front of the camera. We have a hat block. The hot, the, the holiday hat. Okay, now we're clear. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, well, it was happening. You just couldn't see it. Pilots, goggles down, thumbs up. Look at this matchup. Ready? They are ready. Oh, I got to get it over to video. There they are. There's our video. So sweet FPV name, top left, Jesse, top right, Provo, bottom right. There they're off, very, very tight around the bar as they go around the 360 Christmas tree. Looks like Sweet might be out in front. Yes, Sweet first into the Kaleidoscope Tunnel, taking a hard right 90, going around the Infinity Cube upstairs. He is pushing it hard, going up into the Cloud Pylon, taking a 180 around the Cloud Pylon. Now coming down to the Dream Tree. Dream Tree split-assing down to the slide. Great attempt on the slide there. Small, the small reef now heading past the lights. So Sweet now taking a 180 around, going back upstairs, going around the cloud pylons, hitting the dream tree, split assing now for his second attempt down the slide. There it is, beautiful textbook maneuver down the slide. There he is going around the small wreath and the lamps, going down Lady Luck, finishing up into lap number three here. So very close on his heels is Jesse P. Jesse P on the top right of your screen there. And of course, Curse of the Livestream talked about him a little bit and he kind of crashed, but we're having some video issues with Provo there. Provo's doing okay. Uh, sweet FPV name is Holland. He is going to be in first place if he can finish out this last couple seconds. Down his third attempt to the slide there, hitting the small wreath around the lamps and finishing into the Christmas tree. So Sweet FPV name taking first place there. After that round, Jesse P now going up into the clouds, coming around the dream tree. After the dream tree, oh, oh, having, oh, there we go, back up on the slide. I believe that's his third time down the slide. Uh oh, a little bit of uh, losing course. We've got him. Uh, he and Provo are both down. He, Jesse got stuck in the fur. Let's see if he can, yes, yeah, so he's good. There we go, small wreath going around the lamps, now finishing up into the tree. All right, Jesse P taking second. That means that FPV Provo, unfortunately, taking an L there, taking the L, leaving us tonight in seventh place, FPV Provo. All right, so there is our race. Let's get some rapid reactions here. Let's get some rapid reactions here from the racers. Guys, let's get, let's come on over. Let's talk to Ben who won that heat. <laughs> as he like tried to duck. <laughs> so Ben, what was going through your mind as you were running that race? You obviously were good, just hauling butt. How much do you think a home field advantage here is helping you out? I actually barely fly here, <laughs> but I fly a lot and I'm single, so it kind of helps. Hear that, ladies? No. He's single. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I don't know. It's just fun. Like, I don't know. I just beat my boss and another like. <laughs> oh, so. And another big woo pilot. Not that it's like me beating oh. Jesse, but like, it's oh. cool. It's cool to. Oh my God, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take him. We're gonna we're gonna let him get here. <laughs> so as you guys just heard, Sweet taking first, going in second place, Jesse P. Provo unfortunately having some video issues there. He's gonna take third place, and then Bryce obviously leaving us as well in eighth place after not being able to compete in this round because of how late it is getting here in Loveland, Colorado. 
So let's go ahead and push those points out to everybody who's playing along still. We'll take a look at the Hydra FPV leaderboard here in just a second as soon as these points compile. And we'll take a look. There they are. Points. And oh my goodness gracious. Mr. Alex, Rab FPV, moving up the leaderboard. 47,343 points. Dub Z squared, that's Mr. That means, Wesley. That means Rab did not vote for me. He Thanks, voted, Alex. He voted for, uh, for, for Ben, so. For ben. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Uh, Wesley took uh, second place now on the fan leaderboard. He's Dub Z squared. Flex PV is in third. Skittles in fourth. Dio GTS in fifth. I actually placed a bet. I went into sixth here. <laughs> Ribbit in seventh. Nettison in eighth. Nettison's in bed, so no change there. But still playing along, and uh, we're having some fun. All right, so our four pilots are going to be racing in the final race of the consolation bracket. Sweet, Jesse, Intent to be Human, and Microdot facing off for the two pilots that are going to keep alive and move into the finals. Blue Jay and Chris Fisher have already uh, secured their places in the finals. So two of our pilots that are racing in round number 11 here, out of those four that I just named, will be joining either Chris Fisher or will be joining Chris Fisher. And Blue Jay in the final. So right now, here's our pilot, sweet FPV name, Jesse P, intent to be human and microdot. E6. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and get betting open for round number 11. There's our four pilots. You've been looking at their faces. Again, sweet, Jesse, intend to be human, and micro dot. So this is round 11. This is the last race of the consolation bracket. So here, let's get all these pilots here. Let's, let's talk to this real quick. All right, guys, back up just a titch. Come on over. Come on over, Jason. All right. So here they are in person, Jesse, micro dot. Sweet and intent to be human. Those are our four pilots yeah, that are competing that are going to two of these pilots are going to stay alive and move into the finals to put, uh, face off with Sea Fisher and Blue Jay. Two of these will be leaving us for the night. So, gentlemen, raising the stakes here. This is it. All right, let's do this. So make sure you're placing your bets there. So Blue Jay, Sea Fisher.
All right, so again, make sure you're placing your bets. Sweet, Jesse, intend to be human and micro dot. All right. All righty, there's our pilots and their videos. Sweet in the top left, Jesse top right. Intent to be human bottom left and Microdot bottom right. Gentlemen, may I get thumbs from you, please? One, two, three, and dot. You're good? Good to go. Let's get this race started. All righty, and we are starting our round. There we go, taken off. Oh no, one of our pilots unfortunately crashing into a course obstacle there, but looks like all four pilots are back up and on course. First one through the first half of the course is gonna be Sweet FPV name, followed very closely by Jesse Perkins. Sweet right now going around to the cloud layer. Let's go ahead and watch him as he expertly navigates this course. There's the small wreath going around the lamps, now coming for a second lap through Lady Luck, going around, doing the 360 around the big Christmas tree, going to the Mirror Kaleidoscope Tunnel on the backside of Tiny Whip headquarters here. Hard right-hand turn out of the tunnel, going around the Kaleidos, excuse me, the Infinity Cube, now going upstairs into the cloud layer around the pylons. After the pylons hitting oh no a little bit of a tap there but he's back on yep there we go back on course now we're coming down and around the slide and coming down the slide a little bit of marshall down here at the end of the slide we got a pile up there's actually three quads right there right there right there right here torch right here now. all right there we go <laughs> so now sweet is back up and running here goes Sweet coming around the Infinity Cube upstairs. Going around the pylon there after the pylon cloud. Dream Tree going down, hitting the slide for his third and final time. Going to the small. After that, oh, oh, almost went for another lap, but no. Ben, Sweet FPV name, finishing up in first place there. After that, we've got Jesse hitting the tree. That's going to be second place going to Jesse. So there are our two. Pilots into the finals. Sweet FPV name. Jesse Perkins in second. All right, we're going to verify some results here. We'll be right back for you. All right, we're watching the replay. 
a number of pilots were on the slide at the same time. I'm eating a really good cookie that has salted caramel chips in it. Talk to Ethan. The judges are talking with the pilots. There seemed to be a lot of video issues in that last heat. Rerunning it is on the table. The discussion continues. I'm going to ask Taylor what was decided. All right. Taylor's running back the replay. I had it. Yep. All right. Here's the Microdots video. Yeah, that's really hard to fly with. All right, so basically what we were checking there is whether or not Microdot's video was really making a material difference in his ability to race against Jesse and Sweet. Here he did get fall, he fall, he fell down and got marshaled. However, by the time that these that Sweet and Jesse had already finished the race, this is when his video started getting even worse. So we decided between the four of us and myself that we're going to go ahead and keep the results as is. We're going to do Sweet in first, uh, Jesse in second, Intent to be Human in third, and Microdot in fourth. So I'll go ahead and get those results pushed out to you, and we'll move on to our finals. I think the mic was off. I just turned it on. Okay, there you go. Yeah, of course. We were talking about. All right, the finals are set. Look at this group. Okay. Blue Jay, C. Fisher, Jesse P and sweet FPV name. Uh, intent to be human narrowly missed making the finals. Fifth and sixth went to intent and microdot, right? All right. Fifth place goes to Intent to Be Human. Sixth place goes to Microdot. Your finals, and are we, ch we are chasing the ace, correct? We are chasing the ace. For those who don't know what Chase the Ace is, we are looking for a pilot to win and then prove it. The first pilot that can win and then win again will win the Tiny Whoop Christmas Mini Envy. Blue Jay is in the finals. Oh right! Hey, I'm gonna come right over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the here's the final four. We got Blue Jay. Come on in. Blue Jay's wearing his shirt from the last Invitational. Where? What did you get? What place did you get? Third place. 
The one previous you got second, so this time you'll probably get fourth following that trend. The math checks out. <laughs> then we got C. Fisher. Chris Fisher! Come on over. You know, Chris Fisher is actually my FPV mentor. He's the guy that got me into quads and got me flying like serious hobby grade stuff. He, he's the one that helped me graduate out of toys. And, and he's grabbing his quad. An incredible pilot. Then we got myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, and then we got Sweet right here. Your pilot, your pilot picture, I don't, you can, you're like barely in it. It's just your thumb, I think. Yeah. So the pilot picture was from the Invitational last year. During setup, we have a game of like who can hide the most stickers on each other. And uh, it's a picture of Adrian, who works here at Tiny Whoop as well, uh, laying the entire skeleton of a sticker sheet on Taylor's back as we were wandering around, and I got the thumbs up. So I guess, yeah, that is not me in my pilot picture, but it's my thumb. And apparently I'm in charge of the mic now. So like, stand up comedy guys? I just realized that me and Chris Fisher have been sharing goggles all night, so he's gonna scrounge up some goggles right now. All right, we got options. Sounds like you can be picky. What model do you prefer? Yeah, I'm Jesse P. I made it to the finals, to my surprise. Haven't won and raced in a really long time. You know, there was a time when I was on top of every race I went to, and I love that feeling, but that's that's been dead for a long time. I've been getting my ass kicked for years, so it's kind of a treat to make it back to the finals at an invitational event. It's been at least two years since I've been here. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to hand the mic back. I'm F2, yeah. All right, Chris Fisher, you're going to F7. Chris, you good with that? All right. And I'm going to hand the mic off to Marty and get ready for this race. I got to mentally prepare. Good luck, Jesse. He's mentally preparing. I got to say that last February on President's Day, Jesse P won the Airviews Awards race at Bauhaus Brew Labs in Northeast Minneapolis. We call it Northeast. So he's had a good year. How will he close it against this competition? <laughs> ben, be careful. I would, I would like to say if this is the end of Jesse's year, I have barely flown since I.O., so this is the beginning of my year. There should be some sort of sliding scale there. Well, for, no, we're just getting started for Whoop. I guess, I don't know. Locally, we have not been flying Whoop much. It's the end. It's the beginning. <laughs> it comes full circle. These pilots are getting into position. Let's take a look at them again. Finals one. We are chasing the ace. There is no Iron Man in effect. Somebody's got to win it and then prove it. This could go two. This could go five. Let's take a look at the pilots one more time. Taylor, will you do the honors? Thank you, Marty. Appreciate all your help here tonight. For those of you that don't know me on the live stream, I don't know why you don't know me yet, but this is Pitchbull FPV Taylor Worthington coming to you live from Tiny Whoop headquarters in Lovin, Colorado. We're about to start our final race of the evening. This is finals, chase the ace format. Let's take a look at our pilots on the board, our pilot videos here. There they are, and their beautiful smiling faces along with their video feeds. So we got Blue Jay top left, Jesse top right, C Fisher bottom left, Sweet bottom right. We are DVR recording this race just for any video interference or anything that may happen. If we need to, we can check that. But right now, gentlemen, let's go ahead and get this race started. There we go. Getting our There we go, rubbing and racing off the Oh no, we had somebody go down immediately right there back hey, on the chair, on the chair. There we go. There is one of our competitors unfortunately crashing, but let's take a look at Blue Jay and Sea Fisher. They are neck and neck. Actually all three pilots looks like Sweet actually has a little bit of a lead up front. Sea Fisher and Blue Jay unfortunately are 
Well, actually, hang on. Sorry, I'm looking at Jesse's feed. So, so uh-oh, having a little bit of problems here is Seafisher, but he's getting back online. Jesse P's quad came unplugged again, so unfortunately, he's going to take his first knock. And we do not get any video. He's not getting any video from it. So right now, we're watching Blue Jay, Seafisher, and Sweet FPV name as they're navigating the course. Let's get a, there we go. Got a marshal on the slide back there now. So it looks like at this point, if I can decipher what's going on in front of me, Sweet FPV name is finishing up his second, going into third lap with Blue Jay hot on his tail. So there is Blue Jay and Sweet neck and neck. And there's number C Fisher coming and finishing his. One, two, and three right here. We're going to say Sweet in first, Blue Jay in second, C Fisher in third as it comes into the finish. Here comes Sweet down the slide, coming around into the small wreath, taking a 180 around the lamps. There is Sweet taking the win. Blue Jay about just a second behind him in second. Sea Fisher in third. Now points do count in Chase the Ace, so taking second and third is important because in case you don't win through five if nobody wins throughout the first five or the first four and it goes to five it's going to be whoever took the most points in the rest of the races that will determine the rest of the podium so let's go ahead and verify those results again we'll get those pushed in and finals number two opened up for you All right, we're going to give those motors just a second to cool down, but our final position of that first race of Chase the Ace was Sweet in first, Blue Jay in second, Sea Fisher in third, and Jesse P in fourth. We're going to duplicate that race, get it all set up here for you. Nothing's going to change. You're going to be betting on the exact same pilots. Bets are open for finals number two. Is it going to be Sweet taking the first two races in first position and winning it? He's already won one. Now he gets a chance to prove himself in finals two. Or is it going to be Blue Jay who came in on his tail within a second? You know, I'm going to do a, I'm going to look at a DVR review of that as well. But let's take a look at the Hydra PV leaderboard taking off some of those bet limits. We had some big jumps here. Dub Z squared going to 229,000 points. Wesley moving up into first place. Rab FPV into second place, 172,000. Skittles in 40,700. Doc 14. Skids, Pitchbull, Netizen, and Carpenter bringing up our top eight there. Let's go ahead and take, I want to show you guys this race because this race was absolutely bananas at the very end here. Let's take a look. I'm going to go through and show you. Sweet. I'm going to show you Sweet's finish. So here is Sweet's finish right there. So that is at 1 minute 19 seconds. And then let's take a look at Blue Jay. He's coming around the lamps at 1 minute 19 seconds and then hitting at 1 minute and 21 seconds. So two seconds between our pilots after they went through that course. So this is going to be another tight, tight race going into finals number two. Blue Jay, Jesse, Sea Fisher, and Sweet. Again, our four pilots competing. Will it be Sweet taking Chase the Ace, becoming our winner of the Tiny Whoop Christmas Mini Envy, or will it be one of the other three racers tonight? Bet limits are off at this point. You are more than welcome to bet anything up to 100,000 points. 
So bet away, bet smart, bet not smart. Whatever you go, go with your gut. We're here to watch how the points fall at the end of the race. Pi All right, our pilots are plugging in. There's their videos and their faces. Blue Jay, Jesse, Sea Fisher, sweet FPV name. This is going to be a good race. Final chance to get your bets in. Gentlemen, may I get your thumbs? One, two, th two. Chris, you good? Three. And who's my fourth pilot? Blue Jay, you good? All right, gentlemen, we are going to get this race started. Here it goes, finals number two. Will it be Sweet FPV name taking the ace? Or will it be one of the other three pilots chasing the ace right now for a chance to win the Tiny Whoop Mini Invitational Christmas Edition here at Tiny Whoop headquarters? And they're off. Oh, no. Blue Jay had a little bit of a crash. He's on Jesse's desk. We're trying to get him under his computer. There we go. Sea Fisher also crashing out on the backside. So it's going to be Sweet, who also had some problems there with a little bit of the clouds. But he recovers quickly, coming down the slide for his first attempt. There is his, the small wreath now coming around, doing the chicane-style movement around, taking his second lap around the Christmas tree. After that, going down the Kaleidoscope Tunnel, taking a hard right, going around the Infinity Cube. We're now watching Ben in the bottom right-hand corner as our clear leader. Going upstairs, having a little bit of video interference, but fighting through it. Now going down the, the ramp. So there's number two. Let's go ahead and check uh, the fight on the top of our screen here between Blue Jay and Jesse. They are neck and neck. Blue Jay, unfortunately, have a little bit of a problem, but so is Jesse. They're both having some problems there. Blue Jay coming down the slide. No, Jesse down the slide. No, they both, they both jumped off the slide. Let's take a look and watch Sea Fisher bottom left. Unfortunately, he had a little bit of a crash, but he's recovered. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is about to happen. Yes, it is. Sweet, Sweet FPV name taking first. So sweet FPV name is going to be our winner, but don't worry, points matter. We're going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the race. There's Blue Jay taking second. Jesse and Chris Fisher are still waiting to see who takes third and fourth. Here's Chris Fisher coming down the slide. It's getting marshaled. There's Chris Fisher and finishing. There we go. Chris Fisher taking third. That means Mr. Jesse is in fourth. And that is our race. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, after long day of practice yesterday, practice today, 13 rounds of racing, including two final rounds, which is the Chase the Ace. We now have our champion of the 2019 
Christmas mini invitational at Tiny Whoop headquarters here in Loveland, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed history being made at our first ever Christmas mini envy. So we're listening to Jesse right now giving out awards. Yeah, Ben. Oh, I thought that was some glass part or something. <laughs> Just a tiny whoop indestructible. Uh, ben, you've been on rails this whole uh, event. We've seen like some incredibly fast flying. Wes has been on your ass the entire event. Every um, event. And I think that you know maybe we should make you guys go head to head a few more times. Just because right. I didn't get to watch because I was so far back in the pack, yeah. honestly. Um, can we do another chase the ace or another three rounder? Yeah, we should do another we something. These, but first thing we're gonna do, I, I mean, we've got to do the. Uh, Line of sight race. Oh, We're gonna course. do the line of sight race with everybody all at once. Yeah, it's a cross between like rugby and <laughs> like flying a plane, line of sighting. Anyway, man, congratulations. Powered uh, by Tiny Woot Motors. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at and that. the same crazy bee FC that everyone hates. <laughs> Um, All right, well, there we heard it from Jesse and Mr. Ben Sweet FPV name who took our championship here at the Christmas Mini Invitational. Let's go ahead and get an interview with Mr. Wesley Burson. Come on over, bud. Wesley coming from Nowhere, Ohio. It's not actually Nowhere. I forget the name of the city that you're from again. Mitzfield, Ohio. But he is uh, joining us out here in Colorado from Ohio. He's been at the last three Invitationals now. Can you tell me a little bit about how you feel taking second place for the second time after taking third place earlier this year? I don't know. <laughs> don't know? So what was it? If you don't mind me asking, what do you think you need to do in order to train for coming up for the Invitational to maybe edge out Ben coming forward? I don't know. I don't <laughs> All right, so he doesn't know. Um, but I can tell you, I watched, so I watched your, uh, your DVR between you and Ben on that first final. You guys were exactly 1.5 seconds apart after three laps. 1.5 seconds between the first and second place. So, very, very fast racing. Wes, congratulations. Thanks for coming out, taking second place. It was great to have you again out here at Tiny Whoop Invitational. Let's go ahead and talk to our third place tonight, Mr. Chris Fisher. Part of the original Team Big Whoop. Here he is, Mr. Chris Fisher, in third place tonight. Chris, what was going through your mind through these races? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> expletive, 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 oh shit, oh, expletive. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, you did great tonight. Um, you've been around Tiny Whoop headquarters for a while. How have you seen this place change? More lights, uh, more fun, more people. It's been really fun to watch it progress and evolve over time. And the technology's gotten a lot better, too. It's pretty, pretty really fun to watch. Well, good. Well, thank you. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun, um, and Jesse's been doing a great job. I mean, the mylar on the ceiling, all the LED, the neon everywhere. So, Chris, excellent racing tonight. Great job. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for taking third. Have a good rest of your night. All right, so there you have it. That was our Chase the Ace. Again, sweet FPV name, taking first as our champion. Second place going to Mr. Wesley Burson, Blue Jay. Third to Mr. Chris Fisher, and fourth to Mr. Jesse Perkins. Thank you out to everyone who was able to tune in on the live stream tonight. We definitely appreciated having you all here, chatting with us, having fun, making bets, losing points, gaining points, doing the Hydra experience. So at this point, 
We're going to take a look at the Hydra FPV fan leader board. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at this. Here we go. Mr. Wesley, Dub Z squared, taking the win with 429,000 points. It looks like Rab either didn't get his bet in or unfortunately didn't, uh, didn't guess anything. I don't know. He would have lost points had he not guessed anything. So sounds like maybe Alex might have just gone to bed because it's 3 p.m. where he is. Skids coming in third, fourth going to Doc, Skittles going to fifth, Pitchpole in sixth, Netizen in seventh, Carpenter in eighth. That rounds out our top eight. So again, this is Pitchpole FPV. Wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched us tonight on our live stream. Thank you to our gracious, wonderful host here at Tiny Whoop headquarters, Jesse Perkins, Mr. Tiny Whoop himself. For everyone here in Loveland, Colorado, we want to say thank you and have a wonderful night.